Hello, Errol? Hello and good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. I am so proud of you for doing this on BET because it cannot become a lost sound. Radio has forgotten about this era of music and you have something like this that is going to get people talking again and it's going to force the people that are on those towers to start remembering that we once had this golden moment in in radio as well as on, on television. Absolutely. Absolutely. And in honor of Hip Hop 50, you know, I think it's important that we, you know, all the time you have people talking about, you know, the greatest MC of all time. And we're looking at this as like, let's honor the crew here. So we're doing greatest rap crew of all time. Do you think one of the reasons why it, it has sort of just kind of fallen backwards is because it all felt, it, it almost like it broke apart. We, we, we had R&B, we had hip hop, we had rap. There was so much going on all at once that everybody took their sides. And a show like this, the greatest rap crew of all time, brings people back together. Yes, and I, I think it also celebrates just the camaraderie that you have mm-hmm. um, in hip hop amongst the crews. The you know, there's like a lineage in hip hop when you look at you know people who have come out and the pioneers from the early golden era up until today, and they're all kind of connected. And I think that that's what makes this so special. What what's special is that when you go in there and you hear their stories, because I've been with Luther Campbell, I've been with Run DMC, and and to you know you 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 expect them to be exactly like their music, and you find out, my God, they've got big hearts and they love their community. Absolutely, absolutely, and I think you get to to really get to know people through not just the the music that's out there, but also you know initiatives like this where you can talk about the impact that a lot of the rap crews have had in hip hop. Now, one of the things that that listeners need to understand is that the process of the greatest rap crew of all time on BET is an opportunity not only to educate and to bring people together, but they could actually be at the BET Awards. How is that playing out? Yes. Well, you know, the contest is launched today, May 1st, and fans have up until June 9th to be able to vote for the greatest rap crew of all time. Um, It's going to be categorized by regions. So it'll be the East, the South, Midwest, and West Coast. And so... Um, you go on there, you go to BET.com, you vote for your favorite rap crew, and the winners will be announced in, during the BET Awards. Are we going to see those rap crews? I mean, is it, it, does it, do we get to see them perform in 2023? How does it, how does it you know, unravel on television? Oh, oh, well, we can't give away those secrets <laughs> right here. We can't give away those secrets. But, but you know, when it comes to BET, BET always does it big. BET Awards always does it big. So you know that there is going to be a big announcement um, at the awards. And, you know, people are going to want to know who won the fans over for the greatest rap crew. It it was such a great time and still is a great time in history. And it's hard to believe that it's 50 years old. I mean, I I can't believe this because I remember, Kim, record stores wouldn't play it. They, They wouldn't let us go in there and buy it. They said, we don't sell this. We don't sell this. But finally, the doors started to open. Absolutely. And and hip hop is the dominant musical genre in 2023 to, to think about how far hip hop has come over the course of this 50 years. It's really an honor just to be a part of the culture and for us to be able to celebrate things and the little nuances like the, the greatest rap crew. Wouldn't you say that, that hip hop, is really more connected to the community than any other genre. I know country music try, you know, they, they, they say we're about the people, but man, not like this, not like this. You know, a hundred percent. I think for me, just being a part of hip hop culture, I'm more familiar with just how connected it is. I really can't speak to other genres and what they do, but I feel like the, the impact that hip hop has, it's always been touted as a culture, not just the music. It's always been a representation of, of who we are. So yeah, I'm going to say for sure. Right. But I don't really want to speak against or to right. other genres because I'm sure they have their own connections to their audiences. But I, I do think hip hop is a little special. I was blessed with an interview last week with someone who talked about how we are li- currently living in a generation where there are six different generations going on. I love the fact that all of the generations can talk about hip hop. And we do. We do sit around. We do talk about old school. We do talk about the new artists. And, and that, that's what I love. It, it seems to be the community builder. It is, it is, and I think it's it's special. You know, when you can look at a lot of the the pioneers of the culture of that time, you know, when hip-hop was launched back in the late 70s, and see them as, they're like grandfathers of the culture now. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of um, artists who have sort of come from 
certain camps. And a lot of these rap crews have lasted the course of time. So I think that's what makes the greatest rap crew of all time such a special initiative because we're celebrating that lineage that we have in hip hop. Now, we both know that that hip hop is a male driven uh, uh, energy. Will we see female performers? Because come on, Lauren Hill. I mean, come on. No, nobody's better than Lauren Hill. That's that's an arguable one, right? <laughs> I, mean, I, I know Lauren Hill is such a favorite. She's such a favorite. But think of all the, especially in 2023, all the, the female represent, yep. representation that you have of hip hop. And I think there's a lot of, when it comes to the greatest rap school of all time, you know, to me, you can't have a greatest rap crew unless there is the right female representation right. in there. So think about who's connected to Bad Boy or who's connected to Young Money, right? You've got Nicki Minaj. These are breakout stars that are part of these crews. And I think that's going to give a lot of the crews a leg up in their bracket when you have that big female attached. Right, right away, I start thinking about uh, Doja Cat and Lotto, and I mean, I mean, it's you're right, you're absolutely right, and we need that reminder because it is still pouring out of those speakers, and we're getting it on the streaming. And how has streaming changed the course of of hip hop? Well, I mean, you know, twenty years later, I, I I don't know when streaming, you know, what year we look at as like when streaming really changed the course. But I think hip hop was didn't know how to handle it at first. It, it's been a very complex complex and complicated relationship between hip hop and streaming, but I feel like now, right, things have changed and we're starting to embrace that. Oh, Kim, I'm so proud of you for doing this. I really am. I cannot wait to experience this. This this really is something that is going to hopefully change the way terrestrial radio plays their music because we don't need to lose this sound. It needs to be still part of our lives. A hundred percent. Thank you so much for having us. Make sure everyone goes to BET.com and vote for their greatest rap crew of all time. We're partnered with Ambrosia for Heads on this and Engagement Tech Company Telescope. And it's going to be a really fun initiative for everybody to jump in and get involved in. You be brilliant today, okay?